well, we gotta do something for the older kids. And that's why we came up with the Party Pond. Unbelievable entertainment with the slides coming down and the wivets are a huge hit. This is a massive upflow biological filter. We have hundreds and hundreds of aqua blocks inside of this. We have a suspension bridge going over the wetland filter. <laughs> this is totally cool. Man, talking about a bird's eye view. This is awesome. I cannot wait to see this operational. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Ed the Pond Professor here. I am back in Wisconsin Dells. The Mikowski brothers have been doing a phenomenal job out here. I was originally called in on one of their projects several years ago for that beauty way back over here. So that's that incredible natural lagoon that they created. It's a natural lagoon filtered with wetland filtration system, aquatic plants, bacteria, enzymes, all working together synergistically to create this beautiful aquatic environment. Here is a mature wetland filter. Now I'm going to point a couple things out. Obviously one is all the lush aquatic vegetation. Two is there is algae in here. Algae is not a bad thing, especially in a filter because that's a good source of nutrient removal. Another thing I want to point out is in between all the plants, your algae actually diminishes and it's because you've taken it out of the, out of the sunlight. So this entire system is photosynthetic, driven by the sun. So we're feeding these plants nutrient rich water from the bottom up because of sunlight through the process of photosynthesis. We are using those dissolved nutrients combined with carbon dioxide, combined with the sunlight and through the process of photosynthesis, we get the plant growth. We produce carbohydrates. We produce those simple sugars, which actually build the leaf matter. And in that process, it's actually sucking up all those nutrients. Periodically by coming in once a year, thinning out the material, we're actually removing those nutrients from the ecosystem. Look at the outflow. <laughs> it is spotless. As the water gets scrubbed through all the aquatic vegetation, biologically very, very, very active, so it's removing all that stuff and now you don't have that stuff growing over on the other side so the input side lots of al algal growth and then it gets scrubbed itself out and then comes out over here nice and clean and clear see the entry point beautiful you got your waterfall coming through everything is looking great it's been such a huge hit that they actually decided to do a second one they tore up the parking lot that was over in this section there was also a small basketball court over there and they wanted to expand this new one is being built we've been working on this one since last year as well started that design process now everything is coming through through fruition it is going to be ready for water probably by next week let's go take a look at this Check this out, incredible scale. We are almost 200 feet away from those guys over on the other end. This incredible sand beach. This is all sand lined. So underneath all of this is a polypropylene liner. It's one giant sheet. It's a reinforced material, very, very durable. We have a geotextile underneath it on top of the subgrade. We have our polypropylene liner. Then we have another layer of heavy duty fabric on top of that. This is gonna be used by hundreds and hundreds of kids on a weekly basis. There's gonna be a big floating system out here where kids could jump off into the water. The water level is gonna be about a foot down from the top of this block over here. So they used a variety of different construction materials here. You can see obviously the sand dominates everything, but over where the vertical walls are, we still have to retain all of that sand and the rest of the slopes and it has to be structural. So they came in with some beautiful block walls over in here that allowed us to go vertical. So instead of having tapers and ledges and shelves and things like that, is able to get very, very deep very quickly. This pond is filtered with a large wetland filtration system. The water is gonna go right where the two guys right over here where Dave's actually at. That's where the intake is located. So that's where all the water is gonna get sucked into a separate holding area, which is where the pumps are gonna be. From the pumps, the water is gonna get delivered over to our wetland filter. This is a massive upflow biological filter. We have hundreds and hundreds of aqua blocks inside of this. Sedimentation trap located on the bottom made out of our aqua blocks. The high velocity water is gonna come flowing in through these pumps 
gets evenly distributed throughout the entire bottom then the water flows gently up through the different grades of river rock this will be planted with a variety of different types of aquatic plants the water then is going to exit over here throughout this little spillway and then it's going to go directly through that little chute back over into the pond it's really going to kind of create a cool environment so you're going to have people hanging out swimming and splashing around over here on the beach and then you have that fast moving water that's going to cut its way in thousand dollars click in the Salutations, everybody. We've got Colonel Copapod, Lieutenant Rodefer here. <laughs> we have some exciting news for you coming to you from the Team Aquascape channel. I know you were probably really, really enjoying whatever the heck Ad was saying, but it can't be nearly as entertaining as this. We are giving away not 1000 not 2000 but $5,000 worth of Aquascape product. <laughs> That's a whole Ed Baloo. Hey, you guys want to hear more about this? Follow Team Aquascape. We're going to be putting out more and more information about this, but in the meantime, click on the link below click you know how to do all five thousand bucks in pond product that's all you need to know come over to team aquascape channel find out more let's go here is our pump house so this is actually a temporary structure probably will be changed out but we wanted to have a little structure for these pumps we have four external pumps located here the piping system is going to go from discharge from here these will obviously be cut down and then it will connect right into that four inch pipe so on this side we have our pump vaults themselves this is going to act as that pre-filter so this has got 500 large aqua blocks inside of here and then we have this beautiful layer of this cobblestone over on top the water in here is going to be about 12 to 18 inches deep and then the water is going to get pulled down through all the river rock through all the aqua blocks and then it's going to make its way into the pumps so that's going to act as that pre-filter so there's going to be a series of pipes going down not all the way to the bottom about halfway down we're going to have a check valve and that's going to hold water in that piping system these will be cut off and there's going to be a 90 degree elbow put in place over in here it's going to go directly into those pumps from there it's going to be delivered into those different areas by the wetland filter then one of the pumps is going to send water to the slides located over here. The goal with this feature is to have that beautiful kind of beachy type of an ex experience. And we wanna make sure that we have really good water quality. All that water is gonna flow back through this piping system over here into our intake bay. This pipe, again, a little bit of a unique feature about it. This is that polypropylene liner I was talking about that we use for the pond itself. This is a reinforced material. It's one giant piece that goes throughout this entire system. Now on this side, we have EPDM rubber. It's not reinforced, it's much more flexible than the other one. The challenge that we have is we had to connect these two together and make a watertight seal. Came in with this concrete structure. This is basically a box culvert. And then we're gonna come in with a termination strip, actually bolted directly into the concrete. And then we have a water stop sealant that goes in between. You can actually see it's kind of bubbled up over in here. As we put compression on these little nuts right here, it's gonna draw that termination strip in place and it pulls it in really tight and it's gonna squeeze that water stop material in between the concrete and the rubber liner. It's gonna create a watertight seal. So now this material actually goes all the way around this entire pipe system. We had did the exact same thing on the opposite side. The reason we use this large four foot diameter pipe is we're gonna have a separation between the swimming zone and the pump area. By having this pipe system, it makes that separation. It's far enough away and it's not gonna cause any problem. There will be a great system on the front of this so kids cannot have access inside of that pipe at all. You can see how deep this goes down here into the bottom. This is gonna act as a sand trap. So because of all of that sand, kids jumping around, splashing, there's gonna be some of that sand is gonna stay in suspension. This is gonna act as a sand trap. So the fast moving water is gonna draw it in, but because of that huge volume, it's gonna allow that sand a chance to settle out. Periodically, we don't exactly know how often, but this will need to be cleaned out of any of that sand material. It could actually damage the seals of the pump. So what we're gonna do now here in the afternoon, we're gonna lay out some of these locations for the, those jets over here to create that circulation, as well as the ones on the other side. This is definitely a first. We have a suspension bridge going over the wetland filter. <laughs> this is totally cool. And then it's going up to this little treehouse area over here. 
and then there's a slide that comes down and will take all the kids right back down to the beach area where they have access to that incredible lagoon. Love this design as well as the fact that this incredible tree has been saved to preserve the overall look of this space. Incredible view from above looking out at that incredible pond over here and then you're going to be looking out over on this side where those slides are going to be coming down and talking about a bird's eye view. This is awesome. I cannot wait to see this operational. All right, I am here with Dave Mikowski, one of the owners of this incredible property. Dave, tell us about your original thoughts of creating that lagoon and then why you wanted to do a second one. Well, we built that pond in 2019 in May. It turned out wonderful and we noticed that the older kids didn't have too much to do there. They got bored. Well, we got to do something for the older kids and that's why we came up with the party pond. So we want to make that the quiet pond Great. and this will be unbelievable entertainment <laughs> with the slides coming down and the wivets are a huge hit. The inflatables that float on the water right there, we can see the anchors there. That's of both worlds, two ponds next to each other. Totally makes yeah. sense. And this is a first, you know, for this place. I mean, we're in Wisconsin Dells, an incredibly beautiful area. Kind of changed over the years oh, yeah. and it became all these big giant water parks and stuff, which are cool and fun. But coming back to nature, I mean, you guys are doing something that nobody else is really doing. Yeah. This is an incredible place. I know we're gonna go take a walk around and check out some of these other things, but awesome job. Thanks. <laughs>